Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Chrome Vulcan backpack, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you videos just like this one. Let's dive in. Starting with the shape, this thing is very structured. So it stands up on its own relatively well. And then when it's empty, it still retains that structure. There's like some thick fabric here. Then you've got a very stiff frame sheet in the back, which I dig. Makes it a pretty comfortable carry. And then we have webbing down here at the bottom. If you want to attach any additional accessories or something like a bike light, that, there are three spots where you can put that through. A little Chrome logo here. The bottle pockets on the side are okay. Um, they stretch out decently. It's like the, the liner or the exterior fabric is here. You've got a little eyelet down there, like a drainage hole in case it starts filling up with water if this bag gets rain on. And then you have a little bit of like stretchy mesh here in the back. To be honest, it doesn't really grip that well. So when it's in here, like sure, that's fine. But like if you set your bag down, if you know, it starts to, it's very easy for it to come out. So just watch that. I really don't like that. <laughs> um, it is hard to get a bottle pocket right though. You know, it, it definitely does its job, but it just doesn't grip, you know, water bottles as much as I would like to see. And then lastly, I guess this is kind of a feature, but we have this little um, area to hold onto when you're zipping and unzipping the bag. So here I've just attached, it's like a loop too. So I've just attached uh, some hand sanitizer to the outside. There's a small handle up here at the top to kick off the harness system and that's sewn in half. So it gives it a little bit of pseudo padding and makes it more handle like because it kind of flips it a bit. So that's nice. There's also, also this like seatbelt like webbing here. Chrome uses this all the time. I had it on like my messenger bag that I had like 15 years ago that I think really kicked off my love for bags. So that's here. That's always in place. And what it does too is it gives you a wider range of motion. So I like this. I've got a little bit of broader shoulders. If the strap is sewn directly onto the bag, I can kind of feel some discomfort. But in this case, there is some room for it to be flexible and malleable, which I dig. You'd think that these were liner, but they're not. They're just completely sewn and attached in up here. But then you do have like this webbing down here at the bottom. If you do want to attach items, but it is thicker, it's thicker than this. And this is the same material they use in the webbing on the front of the bag. Little chrome logo here, adjustable sternum strap. You can rem remove it if you want. The buckle is straight up overkill. It's big. I feel like a lot of bags these days are using uh, sternum straps that are a lot smaller than this, and I didn't really love this, and it's also kind of dangling around a little bit. You do have the strap keepers, but yeah, just a big buckle overall. Pretty standard adjusters, um, little loops on the bottom for pulls, and then no strap keepers here either. Again, very stiff frame sheet, which makes it comfortable and a bit of breathability on this padded back panel too. All right, so here's the bag on. You can see we got some sternum strap wings trying to fly me around or something like that. Even with the strap keepers, there's a bit of excess strap here, which I don't love to look at. I suppose you could fold this over and then kind of like stick it back in there, which would be fine. Just like a, kind of a lot to manage. And that buckle's really big, like I mentioned. I really do like the straps though and how they're like on the sides or how it's like not sewn directly into the bag. There's like that seatbelt like material I was showing you. That makes it really nice and flexible. So people with different body sizes can wear it. And then the frame sheet and the overall structure of the bag is actually very comfortable to wear too. You've got two low profile pockets in the back here with this blue paracord zipper. You could open that up and I'll give you an idea for the dimension. Um, it doesn't pass all the way through. I think that maybe would have been cool if there was like a pass through for your luggage sleeve or something like that. Um, but they basically go all the way in. It's about up to here. It's about the dimension of this padded uh, back panel here. I've just got my passport sitting in one. Um, and yeah, like flatter items work well in here. Don't throw anything bulky in here like keys or like, you know, anything misshapen. Cause you're gonna feel that in your back. So it's good for flatter items. Let me just take my passport out of here so I don't forget it and have to search through a ton of bags to try to find it. <laughs> um, so I'll zip that closed. That's that pocket. Now on the front, we've got two additional kind of quick access pockets here. The first is this zippered pocket that's a little bit beneath that Velcro on the front. 
So if I pull that down, open it up, you can see inside it's got that tarpaulin, which not only gives it some structure, but also some additional water resistance. So that's really nice. Blue paracord here too. And then of course, just making sure, yes, we've got the YKK zipper there. So this goes all the way down to the bottom. I've just got like a hat, buff and gloves inside of there. So you, you can put a good amount of items in there. It doesn't just have to be really flat items. Um, based on the design, there's a gusset here. So this front part, this front zippered pocket, as well as this flap here, um, when you fill it up, it gives you, you can have a little bit of extra dimension. So it lays flat if it's more empty, but it can come out and have more dimension if you do load it up. So that's that one. Basically goes down to where you're seeing this gray material on the outside of the bag. Nice little dump pocket there. It does go down a little bit of ways, um, but if you throw like a rain shell or something in there, it's gonna be great because you have this tarpaulin that's weather resistant and uh, you got the gusseting too. So if it's a little bulkier, you're gonna be able to pop that in. Velcro up here at the top. Chrome uses a lot of Velcro in their bags. Um, I think it's fine. This thing stays down relatively well uh, once you get it in place. And then you got that tarpaulin material too that can kind of bead water away from this zipper here as well. It covers it enough. Inside here, we've got a organizational pocket here in the front. I've just got like a pouch down there in the side. And then you have this kind of document sleeve or a tablet sleeve right up here in the front. That goes down to about where that gray ends as well. So I just have a pouch in here that I'm gonna pull out, set off to the side. And yeah, little separator there. The front, there's an admin panel. So you've got one, two, three pockets for pens. Gonna make sure that you can get access and see in here. Then you've got a bigger pocket over here. I've just got some sunglasses and some gum in there. Um, this pocket, this pocket right here just feels a little bit big to me. Um, and then with this admin panel, of course, if the main compartment is very, very full, you're going to get less space, although this is gusseted, so it's decent, but it is, can be hard because you, you know, you don't really, since this is kind of a top loading bag, it's hard to kind of get down into that main area. So this organization is fine space down there to put at the bottom. Just be wary if you have like a lot of smaller items that might uh, you know, go to the bottom of this thing. Um, so that covers the pockets that are on the outside. Next up, we'll get to the main compartment. So the bag unzips at the top here with these two blue zippers. If I pull that around, it actually handles the corner pretty well here. So typically zippers get caught on corners like these when they're that sharp. This is a very boxy bag, uh, but in the case of the Vulcan, it's totally fine. That flips down and opens right up. I've been liking this area as like a quick access pocket. I find myself putting things in here that I typically carry in my pockets or just want quick access to. I kind of wish I had the ability to access it from the outside of this bag instead of the inside. There's not really a quick access pocket on this thing. I mean, there's this flap you can pull up and then unzip this and go down. But like at the end of the day, that's really not a quick access pocket. So I was using uh, this top area kind of for that. So that's something to note if you do pick up this bag. Um, bag stays up relatively well on its own. I've got my laptop in here and a couple of other accessories in the liner pockets. Um, so the laptop pocket is soft to the touch. You know, you can really see that frame sheet in here and it gets a little bit thicker even down at the bottom, seemingly. I don't know if it's just more fabric or because of you know, these like pockets here, um, but it's got some nice structure to it. So I pull the laptop out. I'll just set it off to the side. Not really a false bottom in this thing, which I don't love. So I can pretty much feel my finger right here. It's maybe slightly suspended, but if you drop this thing, your laptop's also gonna crash against the ground. I like bags that have that, you know, a little bit higher so that it absorbs some of the shock before it hits your laptop. That really, really helps. And uh, if you have a bag with a false bottom and you drop it and your laptop is saved, you know what I'm talking about. And if you've dropped your bag <laughs> and you haven't had a false bottom and your laptop's broken, well then you know what I'm talking about too. So it does help to have a false bottom. This bag does not have one. Pulling this out, I've just got a roost stand in here, laptop stand, so you can see that's pretty long. And then on the other side, that was out of this liner pocket here. Uh, I've got the other side here as well with a small e-reader too. And then the rest is basically just a giant main compartment that just goes all the way in down towards the bottom. I've got a rain jacket in there, a hoodie, and then I've got, um, this uh, just a pouch as well. So if I open this up, um, you can just get a, a feel for what's inside. And I'm a little top heavy right now, so it's not gonna stand up on its own. 
But once you get things, just because of this is in here and then I have some things in this front area, but um, you know, once you kind of get everything in here the way you want, it stays up on its own relatively well. And the square structure of it overall was very refreshing to use. So there you have it, the Chrome Vulcan backpack. Thanks for giving me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.